Hi guys, this time I am back to show you a tutorial on making these flowers and really they're not difficult, you just, it, just a little, once you've made two or three you're away. This is just some of the fabric, I don't know if you can see that, that I've used which I'm going to take now and just put it out the way otherwise we won't be able to work with all of this and I have prepped some of things beforehand but the first thing you need to make flowers is circles these I actually cut out on my Cricut but um, you can use your punch I find this a little bit big what punch is this it must be you think it would tell you somewhere on it Ugh, how big the circle is no nope. must be about two inches where's my ruler but so I have used this punch but I normally make it smaller yeah two and a half inches so yeah it also depends on how big you want to make the flower as you can see some of them are not you don't they don't have to be perfect circles they're all cut from cardstock because it is firmer and you want something firm to put on these to use for these particular flowers these don't take and then I also have my one and a half inch punch which I've also used to cut out uh, the smaller ones from cardstock to make these particular flowers and that one is also this one which is one and a half inches so I'm gonna just put that aside for a moment <clears throat> and we are gonna start so let's put all these out the way with these pretty flowers this one I used calico to make it which is the, the cotton fabric and it um, frays very nicely this one I used an old sheet so don't throw your old sheets away use them to make these flowers with you can see it's slightly off center but you know what nobody cares and this one is also calico that I used very very simple very easy to make so the first thing you need to do is cut your calico um, the width you can cut it again it depends on your flower size so you can make a small one this one is actually one and a half when it's open uh, inches wide okay and then all I've done is folded it and sewn it on my machine if you don't have a machine to sew it use glue gun and a glue gun is fast you don't want to be using ordinary glue so this is my calico I love this fabric because you know what <laughs> it's so easy you just rip it this is a short one I just you know want to show you from I suppose scratch 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 from the very beginning and then and um, this is really wide it's actually too big so I would not use such a big piece as this unless you want to make a humongous flower which is also fine so all you do is fold it over I have my glue gun ready here on the side if you don't have a machine or you just don't want to sew then just fold it over and glue it and you do that all the way along your strip good bits and pieces because you know the glue dries quite fast okay so that is the piece done there okay so what I've done I've cut these it's quite a long piece I don't have any set size that I cut it to this one just let's see what this one happens to be this is 16 see it's about 18 inches long but you know there's no rule of thumb for this just cut a piece and if there's any left over you, you'll, you can use it for something else then I should have prepped one and I didn't all you're going to do is go along this is the boring part so bear with me um, you just cut not too wide cut almost right up to the stitching I hope you can see what I'm doing and that's it so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this 
I haven't used any other type of fabric for these particular flowers. All I've used is calico and this gives you like your shabby chic look and the sheeting of course. And I think, uh, well, well cotton, I wouldn't use any other, mind you, I suppose we should try it using like a silk or a satin, but this has a bit of body to it, you see, so it holds the shape, I suppose, whereas a silk or a satin probably won't. So let me see if I can do this quickly. It's not going to be perfect, but perfection is not, oops, what we are aiming for. So let me put that down and just go. <coughs> You can cut them wider, but, um, oh, oh, I didn't go in enough there. There we go. Sorry, this is a bit like watching paint dry. But it has to be done. And we're almost there uh, so we're going to take one of these and I'm gonna make it it's the same sort of size but I, I think let me see what did I use I've got to remember what I used yeah this is a smaller one so let's try and do the smaller one so I'm just gonna use my punch again and recut this if you don't have a punch Use a glass or a mug or a cup, anything that that, um, that has a circle. Then what you do, just take this and start gluing it down. I hope you have a glue gun. You know, they're relatively inexpensive to buy. The cheap ones anyway. I mean, you can go and buy the big expensive ones. <laughs> so... And all you do from the outside in, you just glue it round. Get out the way. Mr. Scissors. See how easy is that? That one's dried a bit, that's fine. Let's do again, like so. And let's put it down. Down, down. And that is how you do it. You keep going until your little card is nice and full. Like I say, it doesn't have to be perfect. So let's do another round here. Let's carry on. Oops, now I'm getting glue all over myself. Yeah, that happens a lot. So let's go.
Round and round we go. And again. Oh, oh. I'm just going to use the whole thing. <clears throat> sometimes I don't, sometimes I cut it off. Uh, there, there we have it. The beginnings of this wonderful thing. Of course, I should have used my all more because then... <laughs> oh, yay, yay. Let's try and get some of that off because it's just going to annoy me. Okay deal with the nails later so then what you do is let's get this baby out the way let's try and clean up a little bit very simply is cut the loops now just go around and cut the loops see Okay, I've done this as fast as I can without screwing it up. Um, yeah. I think I went in a bit too much there, but you know, I'm trying to work fast. Okay. 
Good boy. Oh, let's go, let's go. Let's cut this baby up. Yeah, this one hasn't turned out as nice as these, but um, it is what it is when you're trying to get it going. Yeah. I think that's about it, hey? Almost done. If you miss one or two, you will soon find out. Okay, yeah, it looks not, nothing like that. So I do have a few baubles to put on top. Um, I think this is too big for that particular flower. But over here, so you can put a little bauble on top or you can put a, <laughs> a little flower on top. Sorry, I'm just trying to get rid of this glue on my hand. So I have a smaller one, which I think is too small. Hmm? And Oops, that's too big, I think. I'm not liking it. I'm not liking it, folks. How about that? Now, I just wanted to show you where is my... What would it look like if I just add it? <clears throat> just to show you, you can do different things. You don't have to stick to exactly how I do them. Maybe you'll come up with something a better way. Hmm? Could do that, there's nothing wrong with that. So I'm just gonna quickly put a thing of glue and that should take care of this lovely pearl and stick it down. See? So you can put any fabric there as well. And then, all you gotta do now, okay, mine has come out a little bit uneven. You, all you wanna do is make it fray to get that uh, shabby chic look. As you can see, mine is not perfect, but what you can do as well is go afterwards and trim it if you need to, because obviously I have to trim this because it looks a bit scatty. And then you just gotta sit and play with it and, until you frayed it as much or as little as you want. That's a bit better, see that? Trimmed it. So when you're making flowers, you don't have to get it exactly like mine. All right, and I think that little bit of lace in the middle. And then just sit and play with it. I'm not gonna do it obviously here because again, watching paint dry, don't want that, don't wanna bore you. So just keep going, keep going, keep going until the edges are nice and frayed. It does take a bit of doing, but you know what? What doesn't? Yeah, getting there, we're getting there, we're getting there. And there is how you make your flower. And of course you can do, you can see on this one, I've got a lot of layers. So you can put more layers if you want. Okay, and these are about the same. Which you can see I've cut them down because they were from this size to that side because they were too big. You could make a big flower, of course. And then, like I say, you just keep playing with them until they are nicely frayed. So, here are your calico or cotton shabby chic flowers. <laughs> 